Okay, I'm back. I'm back. So I could not get Teardown to work. So I'm playing another game with the word down in the title. <laughs> Crackdown 3. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get into that. I hope everyone's doing well this morning. My name's Alexander A. Manzoni. I'm a poet from New Jersey, living in Washington State, and I love gaming. I got a lot of loves in my life. The first being writing. But the second, the sons. Well, other things, is uh, gaming. And I've been gaming since I was like two years old, playing in television. So let's get this show on the road. This is The Poet Plays with Crackdown 3. Ah, oh, very good. Now, hopefully the audio works on this one. Ah, yes, I'm hearing audio. Thank God. Very good. Sorry it took so long to get this uh, this going. I'm, I'm really happy about what this will do with my uh, average viewers. Okay. I don't have enough USB ports, so I gotta plug in my controller. Because that's how these types of games are played best, is with a controller. Alright. this for a while so far putting the smack down on the peeps on the mofos let's get in there and start smashing things and faces i really wanted to play tear down i'd been playing it earlier and for some reason when i when i uh, made it go to windowed mode it would just freaking just completely shut down and uh oh yeah okay Get my uh, choose a supply point. Got my house. Let's go here. Uh, where's the stuff? Yeah, let's go here. Start running around and blasting shit. Maybe turn the volume down a little bit so I can. You know, you can hear my fantastic. Smooth voice. Okay. I hope this doesn't have a streamer mode. Okay. Yes, I want to save those changes. Oh, yeah. I would love to save all those changes. Uh, oh, we need subtitles. <laughs> You know what happens when someone can't um, can't hear things. I tried activating uh, some sort of um, closed captioning extension for this, and uh, I hope it works. And if you would like to feed my delightful little pet, you should. That's Sangha Cat, and Sangha Cat is very, very hungry and very lonely when I'm not tending to her. Ooh. Oh, is there a, a racy thingy up there? Let's go up there and race. I don't think I ever did one of those. Scale the wall like Spider-Man, except I'm not Spider-Man, I'm... Crackdown man. Hey man, I'm Crackdown man. Up your game, agent. Grab that orb. Yeah, you gotta grab the agility orbs so you can jump higher, park farther, and do whatever you need to do to be the law enforcement official of the future you want to be. Uh, 
lot of areas that you think you might be able to get to, and then you're like, eh, guess I'm not getting there. I wonder. Nah. Well, maybe. No! 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 Oh. Okay. Sorry, Pando. Oh, I forgot. I have a thing. I've got a thing to, like, dash in the air. Um. Oh, it's not that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, it's left stick down. Left stick down. They go all around and run until you have fun. Now at uh, nine o'clock, I will be doing a. Uh, I will be on the radio on KBPX ninety one point one for the last time this week. This will be the last time. Alex will be on the radio for a while. That's okay. Because I'll be on there soon. Be on there again soon. Um, homing rocket. How do I change my weapons? Okay. Yeah. Um, I already have a homing rocket. Okay, it's over there. No, it's over there. Must be over there with the muck. All the way over there. This is about being all that you can be in track down three. Agent, you've got a chemical target still in play around here. Oh, look at all those guys. All right, guys, how you doing? My name is Mr. Crackdown. Kick you when you're down. <laughs> Watch the enemy fire. Some people. This is what I do, you know. Agent spotted. Transfer the coordinates to the headquarters. Now that's my kind of chemistry. I love the smell of toxic fumes in the morning. Industry pollutants. Got a bubble in the red. Ah, oh, there's rockets everywhere. Rockets everywhere. It's in my camera. I'm coming back to you tomorrow. Protect the site. Chemical work. Oh, I should get my points. You should get the points. That'll get their attention. It might, it might not. Oh, it's all the way up there. You're practically a walking weapons cache. You can now yeah. carry even more explosive ammo. No! Nice. Gage. Burn them. Our scanners have picked up the agent. Burn them. Industry response crew. Neutralize the threat. Hacking, hacking. It's that easy. Escalating to threat level two. Deploy advanced industry units. Valve's unlocked. Show it some agency attention. Industry units. We need more firepower. You're a nice one. I can go face the consequences. Right. Oh, 
Okay, the valve. Where is the valve? Not valve the software, but valve the valve. -y. Um oh, it's all the way up here. Let's make it cause an explosion, agent. Take out that valve. I'm moving! Break is it? Okay. Diggers incoming. Kick him in the face. We're a little bit of one two. Welcome to uh, the new visitor to the to the, uh, the room. I'm just. My name's Alexander Mando, writing Mando Mando streams, and I'm here to uh, smash some things and crack down because tear down wasn't working. There we go. These guys were All wrapped up in a nice little like no package. Tomorrow. But honestly, I'm starting to look forward to tomorrow. Thanks to you, Agent. 30 minutes in and I'm already sweating. This is the type of game that does that, though. Who are we going to go after next? I saw that they left. Hey, I did say something to you. Come back for the agency another time. Hey, big badass man. Yeah, I know. I thought the same thing, and then I got Game Pass um, with my computer, and I saw it on there, and I was like, what? I didn't even know. And so I decided to start a game um, when the other game I was playing today um, glitched out, and the sound wasn't working when I tried to do the, uh, do the stuff. I never played any of the Crackdown games because that was during the period of my life when I was all like messed up and stuff and my brother uh, took all the game systems and went to college. He went to college with all of them. Uh, see so many people had great fun playing co-op with friends and mm, not me so much. I'm, a, I'm more of a lone wolf. Keep frosty, agent. I would the go to my friend's house and they would be like, I'm playing this game by myself. No and um, that would be it. I mean, like after like the first Halo, I think, came out, they stopped doing the co-op stuff. I want to offer a promotion for your channel. The big badass man says, what's such a good uh, promotion? Oh, yeah. No, thank you. I miss the OG crackdown, says the big badass man. It was too good. Oh, I'm not clicking nothing. I've been getting so many um, scams and just BS contacting me uh, since I started streaming. I'm like, what? There's like a hundred uh, thousand graphic artists contacting me, and most of them are obviously scams because they have like copy and pasted um, Twitter profiles and stuff like that. The big badass man says, yeah, that's spam for newbies. Uh -huh. I get them 24-7. Yeah, what is the deal with that? Like, even on, like, um, sites where they have, like, a lot of moderation, where they take my stuff down pretty quick, they let these guys get slipped through. And, like, um, they're even posting stuff on, like, the Facebook groups, like, pretending, like, some of them even have Twitch profiles, but then you'll, like, look at them closer, and they're just, like... Or you, you go on and there'll be a bunch of links and you'll see that um, you click on the Twitch link and it's obviously like something that's close to like a porno or whatever. Um, not one of the good ones. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> they're all scams. Yeah, they're trying to go Boy, after that cool. sweet Twitch money. Force they think all Twitch, and Twitch streamers are millionaires. And to tell you the truth, I haven't made a cent yet, but you know what? Uh, that's okay, because I'm a poet, and I have to work for free most of the time anyway. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, honestly, I don't know what it is. I get them all the time from the Facebook groups, and it's all scams. Some probably aren't, but I'm not ready to spend money on my page yet. I have lots to do before I spend real money. Uh -huh. I know. I say the same thing. And my agent I'm self-publishing a novel. I'm in the process of it. I'm like, oh, at the end, I did the editing. I sent it to another editor guy. Get brought back. Edited it again. I'm just adding some more stuff uh, before I publish it. And I just need to, you know, just need to finish that. And that's where I want to put the money because that's what's gonna. Um, that's that's what's gonna help me out in the end. Because um, I don't have any. 
Like, I've been published in books, but I don't get any royalties for them. I've been in um, three published books so far, and a fourth one's coming out next month. And um, no money, not a dime. But I'm promoting the stuff and, uh, and uh, what have you. Oh, hello, Almighty Gord 44. Good to see you again. Yeah. I was about to play another game. Oh, and that's dope, man. Send me links. I'll scope them. Cool. I will do that. And there's a lot of links. Yeah, Almighty Boy. I was about to play Teardown, and then it totally glitched out, and I wasted like a half an hour trying to get it to work. Once Roxy's down, um, the hub with will the be sound. I played it this morning with my... Uh, without my sound equipment and stuff, and it worked fine, but then when I tried to run it um, with OBS, it just... I'm not the biggest reader because I have severe ADHD, but I'm trying to read more. Well, good for... Uh, that's fortunate for you because I'm, like, trying to do... I do more um, with in the performing side of things, and, like... That's what I'm trying to get together. Like I do a lot of um, performances and stuff at local events and things of that nature. So like, um, as the novel gets done, I'm gonna be doing videos of me reading the novels and stuff like that. There's already, um, there's videos of me reading the novel from when I started writing it but on YouTube. Yeah, you started and ended before I could get in. Yeah, it, it, there was no sound. <laughs> I was so pissed off. Uh, well, not that pissed off, because this happens to me, uh, that's happened to me before, so I just gotta expect that, especially from, like, kind of indie games and things of that nature, but I want to play more, like, weird kind of games. Okay. Like, badass, man. Okay, that's still dope. Like I said, any books or novels, shoot them to me, I'll check them out. Oh, man, you put your back so it's all good. Yeah, it is all good. It is. I just wanted to play something with the word down in the title. <laughs> There's probably a few more down uh, games with the word down in the title that I have. I just, um, I want to present a variety of games because that's kind of what I do. I have like a very ADHD type of game play style. Whereas like, um, I'll play a game for like a, maybe a half an hour sometimes and then switch to another one. I'll play like three or four games in the same session. And it's not really friendly with this kind of Twitch thing because I have to go and change the stream information and what have you. But, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to keep doing it. And uh, I'm going to have the patience. Down with the sickness. That's right. Disturb. Reminds me of my 2000, what, 2001, 2002 days. Going to, uh, oh, God, going to the mall with the giant... UFO raver pants with my goth girlfriend and then going and buy an anime at like um, Sam Goody or uh, The Wall or one of those music stores that don't exist anymore and then like buying some CDs and anime at the same time because I was just all about anime back then and then I just tried to watch everything in the universe that I could and um, oh, the guy's out down the there. that controls this <laughs> level. And then I got burnt out on it. I got so burnt out. But I'm in like, you know. I mean, if there's a really good one, I'll probably like check it out if someone like recommends it to me. But, uh, you know. I watched all of Evangelion and what have you. Oh, and if you're on PS, you have to completely restart. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing my PlayStation 5 right now. Um, just because the, the broadcasting is kind of like wonky and um, there's just not a lot of options to like you know for your stream and um, oh. I just would like to have the options like with this I can at least uh, I got a bunch of stuff to like I can start playing my own music if I want to for a standby I got my little virtual pet and um, like I was trying to get started uh, streaming on YouTube before I went back to Twitch and then I was like I did a couple streams on the PlayStation 4 I think and then I went to the PS5 and um, it just did not want to work it just kept saying oh connect 
connect, link your account. I'm like, it's already linked. And then I disconnected well, it and tried to link it again, and it just I never worked again. More. Never. It, would, it kept broken. saying that um, that my password was wrong. This is a frequent thing. I'll be popping in and out, but I'll be here. I'm at work, so I'll be jumping around. But enjoy your streaming day. Oh, and play. Thank you so much, big badass man. You are a badass. <laughs> I've never tried to stream through YouTube. I thought it would be a good idea because at the time I had more followers Get up on in that YouTube hit Roxy than Twitch. I had like 15 versus 105 on YouTube. Now I'm done. I think like 223 on Twitch. So I'm like, you know what? Screw you, YouTube. I have over 500 views. Uh, videos on YouTube, and it's just been a very, very uphill battle trying to get trying to get seen but you know i've just been doing it at the uh, the grassroots level yes and well, maybe that's the way to go maybe that's the way to go figure i just like the idea that uh, youtube would keep my videos like when i do the, the live stream whereas twitch deletes them after a week so I gotta like, you know, I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I've been making these long highlight videos that kind of like allows me to save my videos without having to re-upload them. I'm probably doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. Well, well Pando, I, uh, I appreciate your, uh, well, you're a good guy. You're, or you're a good kitty. Named her after my cat. That I had to block off, uh, block the chair off because she jumped on my keyboard. Okay, there's the supply point. So that was like a big issue I had with um, trying to get the game in. The crazy cat that I just love too much. I am tomorrow, digital and pure. You've had your shot at evolution, human. Now it's my turn. I know, robot. We tried and we failed miserably. That's what the human race is all about. She does. My kitty. She comes over and harasses me, and she's like, Hey, you know, um, you need to stop right now. She'll come up and sit right on my hand when I try to um, use the ma uh, on the mouse or whatever. So that's another reason why I switched over to using the Xbox controller. Because I was all about doing the, um, My you know, the, the mouse, clicking head, and head but, uh, are like, that's all, that's too much. It's too much. Also, this computer gets kind of hot, uh, this laptop. It's so powerful that it just gets kind of hot, like around the F keys. I knew that when I bought the computer. I saw the reviews. I just need to get the, uh, the cooling pad for it. Oh, yeah. Well, she wants to stick the mouse up her butt. That's I what she you, wants agent. to do. <laughs> the damage you are causing is less effective than you think. Worse, Here. it is making me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Oh, I gotta get uh, Terry Crews because he's got the extra uh, explosive uh, experience. Terry Cruz from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, he's in the game, oh my. I'm usually very against that kind of stuff where they just shoehorn a celebrity in and just be like, hey, there's a celebrity here. It's distracting, but I think Terry Cruz can, can do it. He's, you know, I think Vin Diesel could, could definitely get away with it too. Oh, he has, I mean, he had the Chronicles of Riddick games, which I never got to play um, on Xbox. They were supposed to be pretty good. And then they never re-released it on PC. You're gonna have to fight the computer. Agreed. Stop screwing around with these uh, little bitches. Keep dropping those supports. My shield. Roxy's barely Boy. hanging on. 
Goodbye. I need some shield. I need the shield there. I need more shield. Oh, you reloading bitch. You are present in this area. Now, smash chief there for the tank. Yes. Fail safe in height. System repair under. System repair. Do you inhale the AI System. thing? I'm gonna cut myself off. Sense. I don't know. I was reading that stuff oh, about Roxy. how Twitch Could have been friends. Um, makes you weren't affiliates a crazy AI and partners. By and, a oh, I guess they examine your stuff and see if that you're, you know, you, you gotta mature the uh, channel, but you gotta be at least Terranova's family friendly enough. All for their advertisers scheming inside his tower. so I'm going to try to, to uh, pretend like I'm on the radio maybe? shit ass cut oh fuck I'm sorry I just I'm too Italian I'm too New Jersey I'm I've been living in Washington State and I should have um, chilled me out of it yeah. I mean, I got different modes that I go into. Like, I did a presentation at the Chris library a, uh, a while back, uh, like last month. That makes me smile. I did the it radio shit. Well, I always have everything very prepared. I write major. everything down that I'm going to say when I'm going to do something like that. Nova logistics once and for all. And then other chances, I'm, or other times, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to, um, you know, I go to the burlesque show and I do, uh, do poems about you know, thighs and things. And um, nasty stuff. What you know happens in the behind closed doors and things. <laughs> I guess not too crazy, but uh, no, I can't speak Italian. I just know buongiorno and um, ciao and uh, fangul. Fangul is like uh, fuck you in Italian, I think, or maybe it's just American Italian. Oh, <laughs> the X is fast. Oh, radio at nine. Oh, it's almost gone. Okay. Turn off that alarm. And then uh, bring it back in here. Your devotion to a computer program is adorable. Okay, I've got but it's five minutes until the sure thing. Life isn't I wish I could speak Italian. The final upgrade and Roxy but will live on like I've learned too many crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm, st I'm still learning too many crazy Clearly, English words. Clearly, Kristen won't take this lying down. Sounds like they're accelerating their plans, so we need to accelerate ours. Put an end to this final upgrade. I uh. Echo. I have a fear. I tried to learn okay. Spanish Shoot. when I first Demon moved to Spokane. And then, City, um, doing grunt work outsourcing Jesus, for three these guys customers. keep going. Shai Jen, Los Muertos, and the Volk. Customers? Jeez. Pretty sure those were criminal gangs. Yeah. But go on. After the Pacific City. Shut up. Okay, so I uh, come from New Jersey, and it's oh, like a lot of people speak Spanish in that area, in the area I'm from. And um, basically, for like lower low tier jobs or a lot of jobs especially office jobs anything where you got to answer a phone they ask you if you speak spanish and they take priority like anyone who could speak spanish and english takes priority over you know anybody like me and um well i'm i'm actually dating a uh, my girlfriend's half colombian and her dad's from colombia and he lives down he lives with the mom downstairs and uh He's really cool. He speaks you know, English as a second language, and they're really cool. But when I tried to learn, uh, started learning Spanish out here, and I was like doing like really crappy little jobs, and I started Neiman's telling them that like, all out of my business. bosses or managers Terra or whatever, Nova and they laughed the at me. I was like, "Don't, uh, uh, so how isn't it going to help me if I know Spanish out here?" They're like, the "No." Creation of a whole city <laughs> on an island in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, there were some cool people. Got they're really chill. I mean, he's a little bit too One chill for me people. sometimes. And big demands to go if that makes any sense. Them. Like, Big enough uh, to black out the world, I get really sub upset about stuff, and he's always like, "Hey, just relax, take it easy. You know, it's uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, yeah. You don't know what it was like when I was in Vietnam." Terminal needs power yeah, before you I can override it. the gun turret. You know, we all have the our different ways our bodies are wired, just and I come from a place where I'm very 
high strung, um, my parents are all high strung, I'm bipolar, I was raised to think that everybody was um, always like out to get me and my family, or not like get me, but like kind of make me look bad in a sense. Cause like when I went to um, like in school, I was the smart, quote, quote, smartest kid in the class. And then they used to make an example out of me. Like, oh, look at how smart he is compared to you dumbasses. Cause I could read stuff really well. But as soon as I got into uh, freshman year of high school and they started with the algebra, I was screwed. I was so screwed. And then it just, it got worse from there. Hack. You've got to hit each of the turrets before we can target the main tower control station. Is this what I'm gonna do? Nah. Oh wait. Yes, it is. All right. Good yeah, job, high school agent. math is evil. I really up. wish that they Go like evaluate kids when they enter the school, and then they could be like, okay, you're better off for this, and you're better off for this. Instead, they're like, you got to do it all, or you can't do nothing. Like, I probably would have gotten almost a maximum Power score on an SAT. I never took it though because I was like so hopeless by then. Like, at age 15, I was getting the ECT, which is like a form of shock treatment. Um, I was the youngest kid to ever get it at uh, the Philadelphia Friends Hospital back in the early 2000s. And um, they don't just do it to you once either. They do it like a whole bunch Let's of times. I'd say like 12 times, maybe. Fire. Yeah, all or nothing, baby. Get to one of the big guns and target the and, central um, So, like, the stuff I was doing, like, acting out as a high school kid, it was, like, treated way worse because it's like, oh, you're bipolar and you're all messed up. So it would have been, like, boys would have been boys stuff. Like, oh, you got caught with a little bit of pot. You know, instead it was like, oh, my God, it's the end of the world. You got caught with a little bit of pot. Oh, my God. They kept saying that I was going to um, have a psychotic reaction, go insane, and never come back you have to activate from smoking the terminal weed. To take they said it, kept, that gun. it would be full of Giving additives. the generator some juice should do the trick. Yeah, it was painful. It was very, very terrifying, and um, it was traumatizing. You know? And nobody fucking understood, because nobody else went through that shit except my grandma, and she was dead by the time that happened to me. Oh. So, like... My parents, or my family, was all about trying to shove things under the rug. Like, I didn't know my grandmother was crazy until I started going crazy. I would hear little bits, like, oh, your mom was in a, grandma was in a hospital. Oh, you know, she used to be on tram, uh, to and all, because her anxiety was so bad, and she couldn't take care of her kid anymore, because um, my dad's dad stole all the family money, their savings, $40,000, Exactly. If I couldn't do that. Now, if it was full of PCP, you might be able to do that. And there are actually, there are certain people that are, like, really susceptible to going psychotic. And they might, like, if they were already going to go schizophrenic, that could be the precipitating factor. But, like, I was already, like, super depressed and suicidal. It's like, how much worse can it get, you know? How much worse can it get? eyes on the agent. All units engage. But I just had to deal with it and go through the years and years and years and years of therapy and just like doing whatever my mother kind of told me to threaten me to do. And then um, I became like super obsessed with drugs and stuff because I was like, I love the idea of being able to control the way I felt because I never could do that. I always had like, I was just upset all the time and just stressed out. I was like, ooh, this makes me feel better. But then, like, I kind of, like, kept moving up the ladder because it was, like, whenever the guy didn't have the stuff, I'd be like, what else you got? And it just kind of, it went from there. The shield is down. Now get inside but and then, disable uh, you know, I cleaned up uh, when I was 27. So, age 13 to 27, I was my uh, big, big downward spiral. Oh, yeah. I smoke every day. Every day. Washington Capture State, panel, thank God. Thank God line. I'm living here. Because that's what I think that's what mostly saved my life having that available and uh, Good my girlfriend. News is we've so it was a like hold in an incentive coverage. to Bad not um, hang out with dirt shows bags. More active installations around the island. Where I would just like, an artillery shield and see Nova's people on the street and they'd be like, yo, man, can I get some money? Tower. I'd be like, yeah, um, hey, you want some extra money? Uh, can you take me to get some stuff? No. 
And they'd be hey, like, okay, yeah, I'm man, I do up follow you, man. A red flag directive on the airwaves. Oh, I'm sorry, Pando. Repeat. I forget Security how to feed you. I'll look it up later. Oh, wait, Scorpio my thing might say. Targeting redirect. Ordinance authorized. Okay. Time to rain hell. There we go. I'll patch you. Oh, oh. shit. Nova's activated defense turrets. Get and they turned them on you. I've marked the Get locations bastard. on the map. There'll be a deadly threat until we take them down. Defense turrets with large security threat level. Exhilarated. Find them on the crime map. God damn it, the thing went away too quick. I started Terra Nova with nothing. Built it from the ground up with blood, sweat, and very few goddamn tears. I've survived blackmail, shareholder revolts, boardroom assassination, and here you are doing your best to tear it all down. You should know, Agent. I'm a survivor. Are you? It's a good touch and a bad oh, no. touch. Here we go again. And with Beat baby down. Sangha, there's a lot Martin. of bad touches. She knows the good touch. God. What the anyway, frick was that? To end that kill squad. Yeah. Keep hitting that lockdown crew agent. Agent Another wave of security troops headed right for you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I mean, this is one way to uh, forget about your problems is be so overwhelmed with guys that you don't remember that your life is terrible. Actually, my life is a lot better than it was. I just have a lot of health problems right now that's messing me up and my mom dying is, uh, you know, on her deathbed is really messed up too. <laughs> and it's not easy to deal with. She's been dying since, um, like, November of last year. And she just wants to uh, give me as much guilt as possible. Ah, uh, yes, when I fall, I get more balls. That wasn't a good, uh... Ah! My radio thing. I missed it. It's 9.05, and they usually take a few minutes to do it. And they never catch, they never um, save the, uh, like, where's the thing? Yeah. They never saved, like, the little introductions and stuff. Uh, I liked them so much. And he was like, oh, I grew a new uh, poem from Alexander Manzoni. Yeah, I mean, it, I made it uh, yesterday and then uh, missed it today. I had an alarm and then it went off and then I got distracted. Probably because I'm being rushed by so many of these assholes right here. But, I mean, it's on... Uh, they upload it right away to SpokanePublicRadio.org. I just like having hearing the introduction where they, say, they always say something nice about me. I don't get that when uh, I hear the, the pre-recorded thing. So like I like to record that so I have a record of it. Like, see, they did say nice things about me. So my mother's always like, ah, oh, you're such a piece of shit. Nobody likes you, you know, or, 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 you know, they're doing it for their own reasons, or, I don't know, it's just messed up, like, no matter what, she's not happy for me, yeah, well, yeah, I can't really make it a staple, because it doesn't happen that often, actually, um, wow, this was the, so as of today, that was the 17th time I was on the radio, but 17 times, um, like, I went, I was on uh, two times last year for two weeks, 
and then this is the first time this year they get a week with me. So I'll probably be back on um, around summertime. I think I'll, uh, I'll contact them in a couple months. Because the first time they contacted me, and then the next time I was like, I contact them, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna strike while the iron's hot. I don't know how to get back up there. Or maybe I don't even need to go up back up there. Maybe I just need to keep killing guys. Of course, I thought that about Atomic Heart the other day. Yeah, I mean, that's what I wanted to do was like um, incorporate, bring together the world of literature and the world of video games. Because literature isn't all about reading. I mean, it's a big part of it. But uh, it doesn't have to be. There's options, you know, you get your literary fix. And it's not all about just boring ass old men talking about the, they're assholes, I don't know. <laughs> you know, or like, um, people just going up and saying, you know, fuck the patriarchy, fuck everything, destroy the system. I'm like, yeah, 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 we know, we know. We heard it a million times by now. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm hoping that, like, um, once I get through this road to affiliate trap or the stuff that, like, where they concentrate on your, uh, their, your, average viewers per stream that I'll be more experimental and then like want to do like the just chatting where I could like do my poems or read my read from my novel or um, play my music because I have like a bunch of I have like 80 tracks that I've made and uh, they were on the radio a lot or a few of them mostly instrumental or classical um, some of them I've actually paired with the Spokane story. So I like made music based on the novel. <laughs> and some of it's pretty nasty. There's one called um Heads up. Kill machines don't, kill, don't leave your man for your meth dealer. <laughs> and what's funny is that I got uh, a demonetization my demonetization notice for my poem about the ADA crisis. I got one for my poem about 9-11. But I didn't get one for don't leave your man for your meth dealer. I don't understand. I don't understand these algorithms. Oh, oh I broke clear, the freaking line. You're getting yeah. under her skin. And for someone private like Neiman, that makes it hurt twice as much. Fall back for now. Keep it up. That's right. Who's the survivor now? Man, this freaking shit makes me sweat. Dispatch to security in bad division. places. Stand down and regroup. Bad That's places. Order. All right, and maybe I could do a couple different shows. I could do an ASMR type thing where I just talk like this all the time. Hello, this is Alexander A. Manzoni talking to you from the radio to the Twitch stream and everything else in your dreams. Today, we're going to feature Stinky Stinky Bang Bang, a new track by No Holes the Wiser. A new band from Seattle. Oh, a man came down and saw me. And he knew that he won't wear his pants. You're taking I knew damage. that I loved him. I knew that I needed him. So we went to the dance. That was an original non-song by me, Alexander A. Manzo. <laughs> Regulator cells are key. Hit them hard. Hold your breath. Maximum threat level reached. Vargas is on the edge. You've got her riled. He's authorized. Oh, no. Maximum threat level. Facility online. 